Hi guys, here's Daniel, and this is the second part of Lucy's reaction to Saving Private Ryan, which, uh, yeah, it's just the type of movie she loves, so thank you very much for the recommendation, just mashing. Uh, this is not the final part though, I will try to put the last part next week. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to follow Lucy's journey, please subscribe, and if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thanks. Don't fucking touch me with those little rat claws again. Get the fuck back in formation. Hi. Arza, is it? Uh... It dropped dead, Corporal. Gotcha. Especially when I'm standing next to him. Capiche? Hey. Capiche? <laughs> like everyone's so nice here. <laughs> Why don't you ask the captain where he's from? Yeah, ask the captain. I'll tell you everything you want to know about him. <laughs> I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? 20 degrees. Anybody want to answer that? I got a mother, all right? I mean, exactly. The sergeant's got a mother. I mean, shit, I bet even the captain's got a mother. <laughs> I love the way they put things. Well, maybe not the captain, but the rest of us got mothers. <laughs> the captain is way too old to have a mother. Papa's <laughs> talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. The thing is, you have a mission, you do it. That's what being in the army is. Mm. Yeah. I get it. Driving, pay attention now. This is the way to gripe. Continue, Jackson. Well, I, I mean? love the way that you treat the, the, <laughs> his people. Up to and including one mile of Adolf Hitler with a clear line of sight, sir. Pack your bags, fellas. War's over. Amen. The hard part is to get to a mile <laughs> yeah. to Hitler. I don't gripe to you, Riven. I'm a captain. He's a chain of command. Gripes go up, not down. Always up. You gripe Ooh. to me. I say this is an excellent mission, sir, with an extremely valuable objective, sir. I'm willing to lay down my life and the lives of my men, especially you, Ryben, to ease her suffering. He's good. I love him. I love him, too. <laughs> he's so happy. I think he's, he's gonna lose his smile quite soon. <laughs> oh, I love this scene. You start to hear the shots and the rain. It's it's quite nice. It's a good transition, you know, mm -hmm. from a peaceful moment to a action and uh, exactly. war again. Just eight of us. We're not your lead. Huh. Sorry. Relief. What do you mean, sir? Mm -hmm. We're here for a private riot. Who? Huh? Why is this special? The Germans have been reinforcing two regiments. Oh, oh, this guy. Doesn't he do comedy? Yeah, I think usually he does comedy. Seriously, <laughs> you're hungry now? Uh, Eagle 4 4 Eagle 4 4 Eagle 4 4 Copy over. And then there's a wide open square with pretty good cover on the left. It's very nice. They're having like two voices at the same time, you know? Well, I mean. It's war, people exactly. are happy, things are happening at the same time. But it's nice that they put it that way, you know? Mm-hmm. Ryben, where's the cabin from? You figure that one out, you got yourself a nice prize. <laughs> 300 bucks last I heard. Company's got a pool. Oh, no one knows. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Papa, come to show themselves. Oh, there's, there's people there. The book was up there. What are you saying? We've got the children. Ah. Kids! No, 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 we can't take the kids. Are you gonna be saving us, sir? Please! I'm just seeing like she's like dead and she's gonna get shot. I can't. She reminds me of my niece, sir. Get the kids back up. It's like if she reminds your niece, you're not with your niece for some reason. I'm sorry, but you were asking for it. You can't have distractions. I mean, you give it away, now you want her? Make up your mind. But you see, I mean, now, uh, the despair of a father that's willing to give his daughter to strangers that yeah. are harmed mm -hmm. and that are going to shoot and, you know? Yeah. Something tells me this guy is good. He thinks he's very good, but I believe he's good as well. Guys, come over here! Copy, put your head down! I can't put your head down! He's fucking dying. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. 
<laughs> Would be nice if you went through the gun. I knew it! Oh. I said hell, it's good. How the hell would you know that? <laughs> because it would be fun. We got him. Stay down. He got it, not you, but yeah. I get it. It's, it's so much, you know. It's still hard to think that nowadays people are getting through stuff like this, you know? Fuck oh, on it. <laughs> and I think it's gonna start to get worse, you know, among them. They're German. People upstairs, yeah, okay. It was so close. Fred Hamill, Pathfinder, 101st. John Miller, Second Rangers. Oh, 101, it's the Band of the Brothers that you said, right? Mm hmm. Get Ryan up here. I think it's not gonna be the same Ryan. Would be too easy. Sir, Private Ryan, recordings ordered. At ease. Captain Miller, <gasps> Second Ranger. It's Castle. Seemed like his voice, but he looks so young. <laughs> Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Your brothers are dead. No, it goes like, I have no brothers. We have uh, orders to come get you. Because you're going home. It's him. <laughs> I mean, they're sad, but at the same time, I think they're thinking, we lost Van Diesel because of you, bro. I think it's amazing that they found him. Without GPS, without anything. It can't be. My brother's still in grammar school. I said it was not him. Oh, God. James Francis Ryan, Mile. James Frederick Ryan, Minnesota? My brothers are not dead? Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Are you sure? <laughs> this guy is so pissed. Got anything left in this town like a three-star hotel? Something with clean sheets and soft pillows and room service? Yeah, I'm not a nice, comfy church. Well, that's what we have. <laughs> what? But it's nice that they still left, you know, about stuff. No, they have. And we don't know who's the old guy that we see in mm -hmm. the beginning of the mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. For the eyes, I would say it's this guy. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? How many? 94. And that's how simple it is. You need that's to put it that way, <laughs> otherwise. Except this time the mission is man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the captain is not happy with it either. Bring these men into such swift and close collision in critical moments that man measures man. He's very smart, though. He reads a lot. You know Emerson, sir? <laughs> I know some. Are you surprised? <laughs> I was like, not the only one. I think he was a teacher. Well, when he gets up to 500, I'll give you the answers and we'll split the money out. If he knows the kind of things, he was an historical person, if that's how you say it, a teacher. Mm, um, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. He's very calm and he's very... Seems like he's used to deal with people, huh. so... It's like, it could be bad weather, <laughs> it could be war. Oh, they're walking there, nice. Wade! Yes, sir. See what you can do. Yes, sir. Hold on, fellas. Won't be much longer. A lot of injured. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a private James Ryan. He's in Baker, coming into 506 and 101st. No, you got me, sir. A lot of guys coming in. Juden. Juden. <laughs> okay. Gross overload. Trim characteristics all shot to hell. I nearly broke both my arms trying to keep her level. 
And when, and, when, and when we released, you know, I cut He's it. He's so off. traumatized. God gave him out. 22 guys dead. He has such a whip on him. All that for a general? One man. A lot of that going on. Yeah, I was going to say, huh? well, not that different. Yeah, look up food bar in the German dictionary. There's no food bar in there. Pop them. Uh, yes, sir. There's more paratroops out there. Find out if one of them's Ryan. Yes, sir. It's like, I just want to get over with it. I think that little prick's in there. Well, if he is, I'm gonna find him. Gary Ayanico, Vin Rubino, Mike Cesario. I swear, all the guineas are buying it, huh? Uh, <laughs> but when you think it's like, it's all that people. It means that people. Right. You know what, you're a genius. You really are. R-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. That's Rien, and it's Fred. <laughs> You're cheating, you know. It's it yeah, it's their their bodies, they mm -hmm. bodies, you know. All right, I got three of a kind. Right. Right. Hell Pull out. Out. Yeah, the hell Holy goddamn airboat right. watching. Is that the good chips? All right, all right, all right. Put them back in there. Yeah, it's like. It's like you said. Show some respect. Yeah. It's dead people in there. Yeah, I think that is feeling bad because it was also. Mm -hmm. Watching this, like, oh damn. She's not here. Maybe the locals have seen her. Hey, you know, uh, excuse him off. Probably from uh, uh, Ryan, oh James God. Ryan, oh. Merci, Merci Boku. Ryan, anybody know Ryan? He's so fucked up after he heard the thing of the mm -hmm. the guy from the plane. It's like. Doesn't uh, Mandelson pal around with Orion from C Company? Yeah, I think so. Well, bring him up here, would you? They're like, oh. This is it. <laughs> no, the German grenade went up right by my head. Got it, got it. You know Private Ryan? Jimmy Ryan? James. James Francis Ryan. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. They're getting nervous. <laughs> the one that he gave him. Yeah. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Does he know where he is? I like the music of the movie, <laughs> generally. Yeah, yeah. Ramel! Ramel. Thank, thank, thank you, right, thank you. Read, read, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they were quite lost. Let's go. So basically, they're going into uh, towards the danger. These ones have been dead for a while now. Hmm. But it's very nice the way they. Uh, <laughs> uh, characterization? And here the sun's also nice. Sir, I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. Come on, when was the last time you felt good about anything? Right. Who's going left? Okay, no one wants <laughs> to go. I'll do it. I'll go left. All right. I just hope that's empty. Uh, that's not empty. He was a doctor, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Wait, you're fine. You're going on a hospital. More salt. More salt. It doesn't seem good, though. And when you're a doctor, it's like, oh, he has so much holes. Jesus. I'm the hole. It's about the size of an ankle. It's fine. Put some pressure on it. Put some pressure on it. Put some pressure on it. See, everyone's doing pressure. It's so beautiful. I mean, the... All together to help him. Tell us what to do. Tell us how to fix you. What do you mean? I could use a little morphine. He knows. Give it to him. They're gonna get pissed. He's not gonna make it. Uh, there you go. Wait. Here you go. Here it comes. Please. There you go. It's better to die of morphine than. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's saying, oh, mama, I want to go home. And they're doing all of this, losing so much men for one guy to go to his mama. Ask this piece of shit if he's the one who shot Wade. Ask him. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does matter. He ain't going to know. Please don't shoot. I don't care what he says, Elvin. Yeah, he just shot my doctor. This is not right. 
You can help me with the bodies. <laughs> they have a lot of rules, but then it's like once you're at war, there are no rules. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, a lot to take in. <laughs> I lost almost a hundred men. I know. And I think he's very upset and sad because it's a pointless mission, you know? He knows he's killing men to get one man that he doesn't know. <sighs> They're just gonna shoot him. No, he's not finished. Yeah, that's what you think. Come on. No, <laughs> yeah, fine. But no, they found him. But you see, you see what I meant? It's like... Yeah, that one's for you. Please. It's so sad. Betty Boo! <laughs> What a dish! Betty Grable! My scans! Fuck Hitler! Could me like the name Monday if I don't I don't think he's gonna kill him. He's the captain, he's not gonna give that example. Tell him <laughs> to run. To march a thousand paces in that direction. Then he can take off the blindfold, we'll yes, be gone. If he Thanks. turns himself into the first allied Thanks, patrol, he comes across. Thanks, Someone is gonna shoot him. Cam, you just let the enemy go. This is such bullshit. But I guess that was the uh, decent thing to do, huh, Captain? It is. I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy knowing that He's little not happy about it either. Get the hell off me. Gear up. Others. I'm done with this mission. The thing is, I don't judge you. He doesn't as well. I'm not gonna ask you again, soldier. Captain! Uh, no, this is bullshit. Are you letting this happen? Captain! He knows him. He knows what's gonna happen. What's the pool on me up to right now? What, what, what's it up to? Like, really? Wanna talk about <laughs> that now? <laughs> I'm a school teacher. Huh. I told you he was a teacher. He has a lot of patience for for guys, so. Back home and I tell people what I do for a living, and they think, well, nah, that figures. But over here, <laughs> it's uh So I guess I've changed some. Ryan I don't know anything about Ryan, I don't care. You know, if going to Ramel and finding him so he can go home, if that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well then then that's my mission. I won't stop you. I'll even put in the paperwork. This is a captain, you know? Now, are you gear up or you go? You won't go. It was a very, very nice scene, this one. And that was a great captain or a great leader. Mm -hmm. Does. The guy was never gonna shoot him. I think he was like tempted, but. Half track cover! Who's doing a shoot? Who's doing a shoot? Not shooting. Yeah, it was the uh, mines, right? I think so. Corporal Henderson, Easy Company, 501st. Ryan, first of five or Ryan. six. Ryan! James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. How'd you guess that? <laughs> huh. That's funny. 